Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Minecraft. Well, Minecraft Quest for Flight is the correct term. And guess what guys? We are finally in the proper version of 1.9. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. And guess what we are going to do as our first task in this proper version of 1.9. That is right. I don't know what you guessed, but I'm just saying that is right because... That is right. We are building a portal to the nether. And I thought, what better of a place to put it than right in here. So, uh, if we just break a few of these blocks out here. I've gone ahead and gathered the obsidian off screen. Just to make sure that uh, there's no uh, hassle in having to wait hours before we can build our portal. As I harvest each block of obsidian brick by brick. But anyway... Let's uh, place our portal down, shall we? So, uh, the reason why I've waited so long in between Minecraft videos here is... Well, mostly because I was actually waiting for this release to come out. So that we could build our portal and go to the nether. Because I wanted to make sure that they weren't going to change anything to do with the nether or anything like that. And there was an, if the final update didn't allow you to... Uh, Go, go to a version of the nether created before it or something like that. I know it sounds a bit ridiculous, but I didn't want it to mess up our series just for that. So anyway, let's go into the portal. Ready guys? It's lit. We have created the flint and steel, we have lit the portal. Let us enter. Alrighty guys, and as things render in here, Let's just see what type of a place we're in. Not a very safe place. Okay. Let's just see. Can we dig ourselves a little hidey hole quickly? Okay. Okay. We've got ourselves a little hidey hole here. I'm just going to hole in here. Because I want to show you guys a few of the things that I have gotten for myself. I've got over here a diamond, a diamond helmet with protection 3, respiration 3, and breaking 3. Uh, protection 3 thorns 2 chest plate, protection 4 unbreaking 3 leggings, and a fire protection 3 boots. Very important in the nether to have some fire protection. My shield is just an ordinary shield. I've got a smite 4, fire aspect 2, looting 2 sword, uh, efficiency 4 pickaxe, and breaking 3, and a power 1 bow. I think I had that same bow the last time I was with you guys, but I was more, I was trying to get fire protection on something, and that took a while. Okay, so let's see. We've got some nether quartz here, which I'll definitely be gathering as we go along. Because nether quartz is just amazing. <laughs> wow. Okay, have to be very careful. This is not a safe place. Um, yeah, as I was saying, nether quartz is an amazing uh, block to build things with. Very, very useful. What I'd also like to get is some glowstone. Okay. Um, main thing that we are looking for here, however, is a nether fortress. So, that is not what I wanted to hear. Where is this thing? I do not like ghasts. They are my least favorite thing in the nether, because they can blow the ground out from under your feet, and you fall to your doom. Pigmen as well, I'm not too worried about, because I'm generally good about not hitting them. Not always, but mostly. So I'm not too concerned about them. It's, it's more the ghasts that I'm worried about. Um, I've got lots of torches with me, but I don't know if it will be enough. We'll just have to see. I like placing torches as way markers, but I've got lots of cobblestone as well. So maybe every now and then just do that, just so I know which way I've gone. Torches are easy to follow in the nether because they're quite bright in comparison with everything around you. Also, you, there are now lava pockets in the nether. That was added a little while back, actually. But uh, we have to be very careful that we do not get trapped in one of those. Because that can be quite nasty. I suppose what I could do is I could use my flint and steel to light fires that I could follow. Save on some torches. 
some mushrooms here. Just be careful not to walk into one of my own fires, that would be a bit silly. Just getting the easy to gather nether quartz on our way. Uh, not going out of my way for any. Okay. This is some perfectly placed glowstone, easy to get to. So I'm definitely going to help myself to some of this. This shield, I still need to get used to how it works. Alrighty. Uh, get some of this lovely, lovely glowstone that we can turn into glowstone lamps and whatnot, or just use it as it is. Also, the powder is useful for potions, which we will be making. Definitely, as we are going to face the dragon, so we'll need to buff up off uh, to do that. Okay. That's all that glowstone collected. Let's just pop it all into ourselves here. There we go. It's my fire trail over there. Let's keep that going. Do not want to get lost. What's uh, down here? Nice and easy to get to. Nether quartz. And nothing much else. I actually want to stay closer to the surface because that is where you will usually find your nether fortresses. So that's really what I want to find. So I'll do a bit more exploring guys off screen and I will meet you again once I find a nether fortress. Aha! Okay guys, we found our first nether fortress. It's down there a bit, so we're gonna need to carve ourselves a bit of a staircase here. Which shouldn't be a problem because this pick cuts through nether brick like it's nobody's business. Alrighty, keep going down here. We want to make it all the way over there. Hopefully this makes it all the way over there and doesn't like cut off somewhere. Why can't I walk forward? That was weird. Okay, let's put that there just so we can get back up. E. Okay, we've run out of land. Okay, we're gonna have to do this. Like that. Um. Oh no. I do not like the sound of that. Where is it? Okay, let's come down here. Through here. At least we're a bit safe from the ghast at the moment. I'm going to make a big pillar when I get down the bottom here. Just so that I know that this is where I need to go to get back. Okay. Okay, we're here. Okay, we're on soul sand at the moment, which is not ideal because it slows us down. But let's just do this. Place a torch here, just so we can see that we need to come up here in order to get back. And let's collect some of the soul sand. Because if we get some nether water, it would be nice to be able to farm it in the overworld and not have to come here every time we need to do anything with it. So we'll see some food, make sure that we've got enough food to keep going. And, uh, oh! There's an entrance over there and an entrance over here. Let's take this one, because it's really, really close. Also, I'm hearing ghasts, which I don't like. So... And I hear blazes. Okay. This looks like I placed it across here. Oh, it's, it's, it carries on through there. But it looks like I would have put something there to block myself off, sort of thing. Like, I've been here. Don't come back here again. Okay. Torch patterns. This is exit. This is where I want to be. Okay. Now, let's follow the left wall all the way along here. There's a treasure chest, treasure chest over here, with obsidian and a gold chest plate, another flint and steel, which is useful, I guess, if you were trapped in here. Nothing much else. 
I thought they had improved loot and chests. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Um, ah! Okay. Not going that way. Okay, so I've been this way. So what I'm going to do, there's nothing to be found here of interest. So let's block that off. Then we want to come through here. Let's just make this a nice wide walkway. And then we're going to go down here. There's nether wart. Brilliant. We need this for potions. And then we also need some blaze rods. Whoop. Talking about blaze rods. Okay, get the bow ready. No, nope, don't want to hit the pig man. Can I make the shot? No. How about this one? Yes. Was that... Oh, wow. Bow filled it much quicker than I thought it would. I can hear it shooting, but I can't see it. It's weird. Didn't get a blaze rod from that one, unfortunately, as I'd like to get out of here as soon as possible. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's get this thing. Whew, that flew by a bit too close for comfort. Okay, and you. Down. Another golden chest. Another saddle. That's useful, I guess. Iron, flint, and steel. I don't need a chest plate. Not a go Ah, blaze rod. Into fire. Alrighty. Oh. Diamonds. Some more nether wart. Some more iron and another saddle. Alrighty. It's not too bad. Keep coming along here. And we met with another wall. Is there anything beyond the wall? Uh, no, apparently not. Okay, apparently that's the end of the nether fortress on this side. There was that other branch down there, which I am curious about. Whoa! Hello! Nice to meet you. I am going to have to get rid of you, though. As you are in my way, sir. Didn't give me another rod, unfortunately. But we can come along here. And if we go up these stairs over here, back to where we were. Uh, hmm, there's another stairway back here. Let's actually take this. Where does this lead? It's another stairway over here. Oh, those mushrooms scared me. Uh, I hear a skeleton, which is not good. Skeletons are not our friends here. Because they are wither skeletons that can wither us. Okay. There he is there. Let's uh, get away from him. Don't want anything to do with him. There is uh, some more nether wart here, which we don't really need. Okay, I think we're actually playing our luck a bit too much here. This is a much bigger place than I thought it would be. Um, but it's good that we found it. So if we ever do need like more stuff from here... Or to farm with the skeleton heads or whatnot, we know where we can find it. We've got so many saddles, we don't need one more. Um, okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, let's just run along and hop along a bit. Come along down here. Eat some more of this bread. Whew. Okay, this is very, very nerve wracking, guys. Whoop, that's an ordinary skeleton. Those can also now spawn here in the nether. Um, yeah, I believe we go down here, and then we go up here in order to get out. Yep. And there's an ordinary blaze over there. Uh, this is why I don't like soul sand. For any of you, those of you that were wondering. Let's run. Get out of here. We've seen what we came to see. We've got what we came to get. So let's go. Ah, the nether. Not a nice place. Wouldn't recommend it. Zero out of ten. No. Yeah, I would actually heartedly, heartily recommend Glitchy Block Place. Um, wow. Look at all of those blaze. That is scary. Okay, blaze. Leave me alone, please. Um, I would heartily recommend coming here, actually, because there is no other way 
to uh, get potion. Oh, actually there is now in the 1.9 update, talking about the 1.9 update. If you're fortunate enough to find an igloo, you can get, uh, I believe, near the water in the chest, and uh, there is a brewing stand there. So there is a way to get potions there, that way, but uh, not, that's not the recommended way of doing things, that's for sure. So let's just hightail it out of here, and you can see the journey I took to get here. A um, little fire pathway did, has indeed come useful. We can already see our... Uh... Ooh, I hear it. I hear it. We haven't actually seen one. I've talked a lot about how scary they are. But we didn't see a ghast the whole time we were in here, fortunately. I'm sure most of you know what a ghast looks like. So I don't think... It's not a new mob, so I don't need to show... Oh, okay. Anyway. Never mind about not showing it off. There it is. Ouch. Come on. Let's just get out of here. I'm not going to waste time playing ping pong balls with this thing. Run. Just keep running. There's another one down there. This one I need to worry about because it's right by the portal. Uh, I think the other one's lost track of me. So it's just this one. Okay, that one's dead. Okay, let's come in here and get out of this place. Ugh. Okay, and we're back. Whew. That is a nerve-wracking place, that's for sure. Now what I want to do... I'll have to get some more dirt just now, but... Just cover that up. Just so that it's not as visible and not as much of an arsehole. And it's also like quite secretive. Like it's hidden, almost. Alrighty guys, so... We achieved our goal. That's in, we got our blaze rod, we got diamonds, we got... Well, we have had obsidian, we got... Tons of nether quartz. Got some nether rack. We got our soul sand over here, which we can place down and grow our um, grow our stuff in. So that's very very good. So we can make ourselves a uh, got some fish cooking that I forgot about. <laughs> we can make ourselves a brewing stand, I believe. Let me just double check that. Okay. All we need to do is we put. Sorry, I, I'm not a fay on the recipes, but we can do that, and we get ourselves a brewing stand. Alrighty. So we got what we came for. We'll need to make a few glass bottles in order to um, uh, make full use of it, of course. So let's place that down there. And we can brew. Oh my word, we need blaze powder. Well, looks like I'll be making a few trips back to the nether on my own. But uh, there's we've, we've, we've done it. We've got our, our brewing stand. I uh, forgot that, that they had made that change. We need blaze powder to power it. I mean, really. What do they think we've made out of? Money? No. Okay, let's put this here, like that. Get these lovely block of quartz. Look how nice these blocks are, guys. They are brilliant. I was wanting a pure white block in in uh, Minecraft, and they executed it brilliantly. For so long, I've wanted a pure white block in Minecraft. So let's just do that. Look at that. That, that is beautiful. It looks like marble, and it looks... I wish I could actually feel this, because it looks so nice to touch. Like, you can just imagine, like, put your face against the cool, smooth stone. It looks and, f I would imagine, feels amazing. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. As I hold my beautiful block of quartz in my hand, I would wish you all a very good night, and God bless. As always, my name is Athais. Bye!